I hate this dude. I really don't like this dude. First of all, you screw face gene brother. Second of all, you pull something. You pull some fake stuff. And I didn't realize what was going on at the time. But before we get into the backstory of me and this clown ass nigga. Let's check out your channel. See what's been going on lately. KSO Big Dipper. Jamal. You, you got a dog named Jamal. Boy, we starting off on a wrong track. Uh, American rapper react. Oh, so you's a rapper? I promise. I didn't even know this man was a rapper. Oh man, y'all making this too easy. Let's see this. I don't want to start with no reaction. Boy. Hold on, what? Finally, Queso has come back, and I don't even know if we can say. Boy, I beat your ass. <laughs> Them slow ass, stiff ass punches. What was you doing? I beat your ass, man. Real, real talk. It has come back. We doing the first ever unboxing on the channel. Now, I could give you a long intro, but I don't really got one. I want to give a big shout out to the homies over there at Legal Lane. For man, what's in that swole ass, puffy ass box? Like, do they stuff three couch pillows in a box and send it to you? What's in that swole ass box? Like, come on, boy. It looks so damn tacky. Sending us this pack. We're going to get a little sample test. But before we do, boom, I'm trying to get to 10,000 followers on Instagram. Hey, you heard me right. That's 10,000 followers. And I can't do that without y'all. I'm trying to put a kid in Rihanna. So if you go take your left fingers and follow a nigga on Instagram. Man, stop begging, man. Weak ass Instagram. Ain't nobody following shit. It would mean the world to me. Now I'm done talking. But before, actually, no, we're not going to break it down. Huh? Let's sip this lean, folks. I ugly ass nigga like man like this is if i look like this nigga man i would not do youtube i would go for radio i'm sorry that's just me so first off first come first we got the package now milk this called an unboxing milk yeah. man this nigga got a fake ass trophy in the back that say rapper of the year i would like to know where did you win that who gave you that trophy or did you buy it off eBay and engrave your name on the bottom of that motherfucker? Boy, what's wrong with these niggas? Now, Milk, this called an unboxing, Milk. Yeah. This called an unboxing. So a lot of motherfuckers just unboxing. But you know I'm the devil. I got door. A little different. Boy, if you cut them pillows up, that's going to be a bad look. Let's go, Milk. Now, Miller, have you ever had an experience with that drop before? I mean, shit, per se. Like, have you? Uh, I've had a lot of experience okay. with the drop. Okay, so <laughs> I have some experience with the drop. Hey, stop talking to niggas in the background. Talk to us. We here watching the video, nigga. You nervous, huh? You need some background chatter to make yourself look cool. You got on a sky blue do rag. You can't look cool. And we can tell the truth here now. <laughs> now let's let's just talk about it. You gotta show love to three cups. But I didn't think that was gonna have cup three cups. You know what I'm saying? Nigga like me only like two, but three is dual. And they got the nice little legal lean logo. Now back in the day when not even back in the day when the sipping got to be the sipping. You had to go get you a cup cup. The motherfucking McDonald's cups weren't cutting it no more on the guys. Man, what's in the box? I'm tired of hand this nigga, man. Beautiful handbag. Nigga sent you a bag in the box. What kind of nigga? You a bag in the box ass nigga. I have never seen that in my life. I have never seen nobody open up a box with a bag in it. Nigga sent you a bag in a box. Boy, you slow. You sure this shit legal? Hell yeah. Okay, all right. What the deal? We got a beautiful handbag right here. Um, uh, the nigga, shout out to Legal Link. They got a nigga ride. Hold on. Where my sword at? 
Nigga, you can't open a plastic bag, weak ass nigga. I will slap your ass across that room. You can't even open a goddamn plastic bag. Man, a nigga who's shaped like Donkey Kong can't rip it over a plastic bag. That's crazy. Dropping the cup. Put it on you, and that's why you get paid the big bucks, man. Nigga literally needed a knife for that. And a little beanie for no with the legal window. Boy, boy, talk about making the worst life decisions. I would have edited this shit out. You can't even put this shit on your head. That slippery ass do rag. What the fuck kind of jail you got? You think it is? I'm telling you this. I'm gonna tell you this and remember this for the rest of your life. Put the jail on the inside because it's supposed to be on your hair. Why is you slicking the outside of your do rag to the point where your hat is slipping off? Like. Some people just make bad life choices, but for why though? Hold on, guys. Damn, motherfucker, let's slap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Slippery to the motherfucker. Mm. Mm. Oh, nigga, come on. And you think I'm not going to have it in the room? Putting it so all the little hoes see me to my yeah, Can I show you on the. What hoes? What little hoes? You talking about the pictures on your wall, my nigga? You ain't got no hoes. I got to get up out of here, man. Listen, man, I seen enough about you and your personality off this one video, but let's talk a little bit about me and your backstory. So, to really understand, we got to go back in time. April 6, 2021. You made a video on me. Huh. Never seen this before. Let's check it out now. Oh. And to be honest, I'm getting to the point where it's dude don't talk. So I'm damn near reacting to this song again. Let me show you how it's done. Yeah, show me how it's done. Show me how to fake a reaction for the Filipinos while doing a Ponzi scheme marketing ploy to put my music out there, a whack ass song called 100. Yeah, show me how it's done. Finally, Queso has come back with another lead. Hey, listen, sometimes in life you gotta leave the past in the past, man. Killer Instinct 64, yes, it was a good game. You are not TJ Combo. Stop it, man. Grow up, relax. Action, I got a short little story for you before we get into this. Yo. Y'all have been asking me to react to this man's reaction to Easy Mill IDK. Now, if you are a fan of the channel, if you know Queso Big Dipper, you know I keep it 100% of the time. And you know, I've been rocking with Easy Mill. The first song I ever reacted to was IDK. And because of that, I, I liked him. We continued reacting to him. You know what I'm saying? And y'all like, no, Queso, we need your opinion on this man's reaction. So without any further ado, this is Easy Mill IDK Reaction, the most requested and overhyped trash ever. Worse than Hobson. It's on Michelle Show's channel. I'm gonna be subjective. I don't know the man. I don't have no strong opinions about him. I've never even seen the reaction. But before I break it down, hit that subscribe button, little. Bitch. We pop it off. Okay, oh, hold on, hold on. Hey, oh, hey, oh, boy, you getting your ass beat by your own studio, but you sitting there throwing weak ass punches at the air. Like, what a pussy, nigga. I don't give a fuck what you about to say. I just seen you lose a fight. Nigga just got his ass whooped by a studio light. Damn, boy, I talk about pre-karma. You was about to say some foul shit about me, and you got your ass knocked out down there. That's tough. <sighs> That's tough. Matter of fact, let me see that again. <sighs> okay. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I got attacked by my lighting rig to pop it off. I see I see already, I see a big problem. He's he's a rapper. A rapper. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people who rap are... now. Don't get me wrong, I am the best YouTube rapper right now, but then I was not a rapper. It's just an intro, not a rapper. It's a parody song. It's not to be taken serious. You know what I'm saying? Come on now. Don't call me no rapper unless you call me the best YouTube rapper. We, we fall into this world of reaction because, like, if you understand music theory and you love music, what better job to do is than 
listening to music and breaking down music and giving your opinions on music. But trash rappers be be doing. I dropped out of school at the age of three, nigga. What do you, what does that mean? You never went to that shit. But neither here nor there. Let's get to that reaction. Nigga dropped out at three. Boy, I can't wait to hear your song, boy. Is it that serious? Everybody talking about easy, man. No, it's lots of y'all. I'm going to be honest. I could give a rat's ass about your speaker. Like, no disrespect or nothing, but like... Nigga, I you just got your ass whooped by a light. You should be worried about a speaker. The fuck is you talking about? I could give a rat's ass. Stop with the booms. All right, let's get it. <laughs> no copyrights lot going on behind the scenes lately which is why i won't do reactions for a while i'm gonna be petty for a while that's a story for another day we'll get to that ugly ass dog fuck that dog I'll be like the guy, bro if you're gonna react be ready my man jamal this jamal y'all say hi fuck you jamal Okay, see, this is the problem. This song is fire. Super fire. It's not. Fire. And the bars are there. Super, he's coming. No, it's not. Dropped out of school when I was three is better than everything in this song. Hands down. Everybody know it. It's straight punches. Like, that's the theme of the song. I'm about to punch out to you. You, you could have said something about the stand, the flip to the stand Lee, the Iron Man, the Marvel. The, the, you, there was a lot of bars in there. And as a person reacting, you could have. Man, when did you start rapping and how long have you been listening to music? Because if you're impressed by those simple ass bars, like that says a lot. And it let me know you're a trash ass rapper because nobody who listened to Nas, Jay-Z grew up, Big L, Big Pun. Nobody is going to flip out over no damn Stan Lee Marvel Iron Man flip. I'm sorry. You have given us your insight on it. All you did was sit here and look at this bitch. Yeah, waiting for some hot shit that everybody was talking about and it never came. Fuck is you talking about ugly ass nigga? People have, have said, kids, so you pause a lot in your reactions. I haven't gotten that in a while, but that used to be one of the biggest gripes people had. But I, in my mind, and I wonder if the viewers feel the same way, why would I react to a song and just listen to this shit? I could have done that without turning a camera on and having to edit this video. Obviously, I'll be quiet and, and let the artist do his work. But I hate when people do reactions. It, it makes me not list, watch a lot of reactions because, like, nigga, if I wanted to just listen to the song, I, I, I would rather just see the video without you in here doing this. I'm thinking. Like... That too cool for school shit. There was a lot of good bars in there, and I feel like you dropped the ball on dissecting them. But that lets me know, just off the title, you were looking to come with a, a, a angle of hate. You was coming at Easy Mail because you couldn't say nothing bad about it. Really, there was a lot good that happened there. You should have, you should have at least done that. And if you are gonna say you don't like something, be subjective. Okay, so like I could say about you. Your color grade in there, it's cool. I, I mean, that, that comic book style, you do it that, I like that. That way, if right now, when I'm saying something that's less than positive about you. Thank you, KSO. You like it? Thank you. Oh, shit. Fuck, I put it. Objective. I'm, I'm looking at you on a full scale. So the fact you didn't catch one of those bars, you didn't catch one of those var bars, you, you already not really a vibe for me right now, Pimp, and I ain't going to lie. Not a vibe. So let me tell you how you are not a vibe. Let's play a game called Let's Count the Ways. First of all, my nigga, don't you got like a black fucking garbage bag on your window? Huh? That's one thing. Why? No curtains, nothing like that you could have put over that window besides a black garbage bag. It's not stopping the sun. It's not stopping nothing. What's the point? It just looks tacky and weird and ghetto a little bit. Like, stop it. Five inches to the right of that, you have a like a 1939 newspaper clipping. Is that like a Felix the Cat comic strip or something on your wall? Why is that hanging there? It, it looks dumb. Like, what ambiance are you creating here? It's real bad. Other than that, look at your motherfucking ceiling, my nigga. It's half classroom tiles, half basement wood. Like, where are you at? In your mama basement, but you're talking shit and critiquing shit from your mama basement. That's fucked up. 
the do rag. Come on, man. I don't want to see nobody with a cape unless it's Batman. Stop that. Stop with the do rags with the cape hanging out. Another thing, you got on cubic zirconium earrings, but they hoops though, not studs. Like, 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 like let's let's really break this down. Cubic zirconium hoop earrings. What the fuck? I never heard of that. I never heard of that. So all this fake ass shit that you can break down about some weak ass bars that I'm not impressed by because I'm not in kindergarten no more. Obviously, dropped out of school when I was three. But you got all this weird shit going on that you think I'ma skip over. It's not happening. It's not happening. Go ahead. Hold on. I gotta do something my volume. Please. I had to hear the bars again. I ain't gonna lie. What a bunch of body kit. <laughs> Different than I expected. Okay. What, what is this? A R and B bar fest? What what is this, man? Um I got a feeling that he gonna crank up, so I ain't tripping. I got a feeling he gonna crank up um sometime during this song. Cause if it all sounds And I'm not feeling that. I get it, you try to make a joke, like a good little knee slapper and shit, but make it make sense. Your your gripe is this sounds like something I haven't heard before. This is an amalgamation of, of, of our It's settled. He's slow. He gonna make up an argument for me. You said an R&B bar fest. Now, we hip-hop fans. R&B, R&B, it, it's cool to most of us. Not saying you have to love R&B if you love hip-hop, but it's never been a bad thing. Do, do, hip-hop loves, to, well, minus the whole Meg thing, but we loved Tory, minus the ping on... Uh, we loved Ark. Now I'm thinking about it. These R&B niggas be tripping. But that's not my point. You're mad because he, 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 he gave you a melody with it. Now I'm going to ask you, bro, if Dirk, if Little Dirk said the same exact bars and he wasn't, a, he was like us. He was a black guy. And you know what I'm saying? We know Dirk valid and shit. If Dirk said the same. Oh, the race angle. Boy, you sucking they dick hard. Like, damn. I ain't never seen this much caping since like at least 2003. Don't save them. They don't want to be saved. Damn, man. Boy, I bet you got about 10,000 Filipino subscribers after this because you saved a whole country with this shit. Like, man. Things, would you have a problem with it? I don't think you Trash as fuck. Look, we would say this is lyrically Dirk's best song. Just, you know, foo for R E S P E C T. Yeah, man. Lyrically. Stop. I like this. I'm gonna be disappointed. Um, let's be for real. Let's let's just be for real. But I ain't tripping. Easy meal. Get into your singing bag. You know what I'm saying? Do your double entendre thing. Um, and explain the bars with the video so the kids can catch it. E F B. I don't need that. What do you let's mean? What do you mean you don't need that? Because, bro, you haven't, you haven't said, my dog Wyler, you haven't said or caught a single bar. I'm not saying you're stupid. I'm not even necessarily saying these bars are going above your head. You are saying that. Like, stand behind what you say. This what we not going to do. We not going to straddle the fence. Like, put it like this. I'm saying you a bitch-ass nigga. Uh, I'm not going to turn around and say, I'm not saying you are a bitch-ass nigga. I'm saying that. I'm saying that. So you saying that because I didn't recognize or validate the bars that I don't get them. So don't turn around and say that you're not saying they going over my head. You are saying that. Be a man. Just because you got your ass whooped by a studio light don't make you a weak ass nigga. That's not the reason. This right here. This is the reason. What you doing right now? But if I had never heard this song before and I'm not a hip hop stand if i'm not if i wasn't raised in hip-hop and so catching bars and shit was hard but i love reactions and i love watching reactions because they help me get through songs and they point out things i missed the, the and that's your problem you need help getting through songs i don't that's the problem that's the difference see if you let somebody talk long enough they always tell on themselves i don't need help my subscribers do not need help i don't have to point out things to them you Obviously, you need help. Your fans and subscribers, they need help because you slow and they slow. You know, it's just that simple. And that's why sometimes you got to just sit there quietly, let people talk. Like I was doing when Easy Meal was spitting them whack bars. You just sitting there, 
and let him say whack shit. Just process it. Value of a reaction. You did nothing for me to not need this pointed out. Okay, you're a hippo. I don't know. And this nigga's name is Michelle. I'm, that's, see, I'm not trying to make this personal or nothing, but I ain't never met no stepper named Michelle before. I'm just saying. But Yeah, but I'll beat your ass in real life and we can meet up. What you mean, stepper? You're not a stepper, my nigga. Look at your shirt. You got all type of power lines, electricities, cartoon characters, goofies, and you in a fake ass half classroom, half basement. Where are you stepping to besides the front room? Like, like I'm just trying to figure out what's going on here. If you really, okay, we're supposed to just catch bars, right? And point it out, man. I don't need no help putting it. But say a bar. Say one bar. Do you know what I'm saying? Catch a bar. Even harder, I challenge you. Tell me which one of these bars are whack. Because you're playing it as if this shit is whack. Tell me which one you didn't like. Because then I can respect it. I can't be mad at you for giving your opinion. Give me which one of your bars is whack. That's all I'm saying. Every single one. Why are you so pissed, bro? Jamal, chill, bro. This Jamal, bro. I know, man. This nigga Michelle tripping on my dog Easy. Yeah, you hear Jamal? Yeah, Jamal. Yeah, Jamal. Yeah, Jamal. We ain't gonna let him disrespect him like that. Don't lick my face. We ain't gonna let him disrespect him like that. Say it. Say it. What's up? What's up? You don't want it? You don't want it with Jamal. You don't want it with Jamal. Do you want it with the studio light? Mm. Mm. So I'm damn near reacting to this song again. Let me show you how it's done. Let me show you how it's done. I'm reacting to this again. This is fire. Several times where I cut ties. Look, what do you say? Asians do everything. What this? Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. I know Easy Mill gets views. I know Easy Mill gets people views. I know this. So you just you just tapped in with Easy? You just tapped in with Easy for the views? You not even going to say nothing? You make me sick. Jamal is very disappointed with you, Michelle. You better than that. Mm. Just threw up in my fucking mouth. And I ain't gonna lie, bro. I ain't gonna lie. He said the screwbar. Y'all know that's my brother. He said the screwbar. You, 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 you ain't a vibe. You ain't valid, Michelle. You know why you not mich valid, Michelle? One, because you've got the same name as my auntie. Two, they can put some respect on it, man. Fuck Screwface Gene and fuck you. Put some respect on it, man. No respect. I have no respect for you. Fuck y'all. Look, and he's pissed. He's pissed. Bro, he's mad because he has a really whack job. You just have to hate on shit. That would be terrible. Who would want to do that? I don't, I don't even... If I, I, I'll give somebody one reaction. If I don't like your shit, I've deleted plenty of reaction because it's just like, bro, I'm not a hater and I get nothing for spreading hate. Now, if y'all really want me to react to something and I don't like it, I'm be subjective. I'm going to tell y'all at the end, you know, nigga, I keep on hunting. Like um, stop right there. You are a hater, but you don't want nobody to know that you're a hater. Now, look at all the negativity that you spew my way through this thing off of one video, right? That's what I do. That's what I do to people. Uh, I sit there and just say negative things about them through the whole video like I'm doing with you, right? You are doing the same thing to me. Not a stepper. I'm a trash rapper. Not even a rapper, but I'm a trash rapper. Uh, I'm not catching no bars. Uh, I'm damn near slow. I'm not vibe. Uh, it's just negativity after negativity after negativity. Why? Um, Because you're trying to impress the Filipinos and show off for them. Show that you on their side for validation and subscribers and views. So, you are a hater. And I'm going to keep bullying you to bring that hater out even more. On top of that, you sent a DM to my Instagram trying to get me to come on your YouTube live a couple months after you did this video. 
I didn't even know that you made this video, but something was fishy about you begging me to come on your fucking YouTube channel. Who is this random dude? I don't know you. So, um, why? Just like, why? And I never did, because that's just something didn't even sit right. Eventually, I found out about this, and it's like, oh, he's trying to set me up and get on there to show off for the Easy Meal fans. Basically, they get all the Easy Meal fans and say, oh, man, like we're supposed to have an argument over Easy Meal or something. Guess what? We still can do that. We can do that because I'm going to win, nigga. This shit ass. I'm going to win, my nigga. And I'm going to hate on your weak ass the whole fucking time. I'm going to make you hate on me back, and we're going to make the world black. Starting with you, nigga. Like, you know if I don't like it, I'm going to be like, eh, yeah, it wasn't that. that. That ain't it. It wasn't a vibe. But if I like it, nigga, that's a vibe. And you can tell when I like something, because we're going we're gonna to keep dropping. We're going to keep listening to it, because I enjoy it. I enjoy music. I enjoy this. I enjoy reactions. I enjoy what I do. Nigga. You heard the nigga start, and I be mean, with it at the same time. I be smooth with it at the same time, and we started vibe. Uh, take that, take that. We started vibe, and yo ugly. What? Man, this nigga just called me ugly. Man, oh my god, what has the world coming to? And why can't you finish one easy meal bar? You keep saying he said, and you say like two words, and you stop because you can't even remember one whole bar from this shit. And that's crazy. You done tried to recite like six of them since the beginning of this video and you can't, you always stop halfway through and say something else. Dang, the power of deflection is funny to me. I'm not falling for it. Why, why are you mad for? You gotta be fucking shitting me. <laughs> You laughing though. Why why are you trying to hide your laugh? This is the second time since the beginning of this video you done laughed at something I said negative towards Easy Bill. See, the true you is coming out, but you keep trying to hide it. You putting shit in front of your mouth. It's okay. You like this shit because you know I'm being real and this is real honest emotion and you like that shit. But you just gotta be so fake, man. Look, you trying to look away so you not laugh. <laughs> this nigga right here, man. Y'all gotta be fucking shitting me, bro. Let's see where it's going. Did I just get trolled or what? Or y'all really think this is like the hottest thing ever? Wow, you gotta hear this. The bar's gonna go over your head. Can you catch everything? Besides the fact that... You didn't catch anything. Painting literally pictures on the screen of the bars and explaining everything. He keeps saying that as if it's a bad thing. And it's like, bro, think about what's actually going on, what Easy Mill did. He took a camera. They said it was his sister holding the camera in his kitchen and recorded a song. And that shit's 100,000 plus views, hundreds of thousands, multiple views. Maybe if in a million, I'm not. Fuck the views. Let's talk about the song and the lyrics. I'm not sure. I haven't, you know, I haven't seen, um, I haven't checked the numbers. I don't really ever check numbers. But he did that and added more to the video for us viewers and you keep saying that like it's a bad thing bro this is self-sufficient this is a man who on a mission he made a song recorded it mixed it himself i heard he even produces the bitches then then put it out what is wrong with that put it out produced it himself himself independent what about the lyrics and what he's saying i'm not judging that shit anytime you got to do all that is for a reason because you can't take up for the lyrics would you have rather the nigga just wrapped in his kitchen with none of the, the none of the extra? It would have still been good, but I felt like the 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 what he added to the visuals made it way better. I bet. <laughs> I bet you did. You the type of nigga to read nothing but picture books, huh? But all right. Continue with uh, like a damn picture book or some shit. It's not even. Come on, Michelle. Come on. Y'all gotta be shitting me, man. Come on, Michelle. Y'all, y'all, y'all fucked up. Come I'm on, sorry, Michelle. Y'all fucked up. We this up. is like ass. What? This is not good. You get this RB bullshit out about it here, man. Bro, like, he only got melodic twice. Why do you keep calling it RB bullshit? Oh my God. It is pacing. I want to say something, but I'm not going to say that. I ain't going to bring that into it. He was going to throw the race card at him. We yes, got... nigga. I don't know what that is. I know. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't going to bring that into it. Cause it's just going to take away from the assness of the song and just make everybody in the comments just attack me. 
So, you know what I'm saying? I'd rather get attacked for just saying it's trash. I don't like that shit not one bit. Cow. What the fuck was that? Oh, Cow. on the phone. Hater number five. Okay. You. Okay, Michelle. I, I guess I'm hater number one then. Oh, okay, you, you owned it. It is fuck. Boy. What the hell? You, you gonna miss all the bars, man. It's just it's just a catch one. It's a singing. Like, I, I I don't know what the hell just happened. Catch one, bro. Your shtick don't even Let make me sense. First. You gotta have some Filipino homies. I need to go make some. All right, let's hear how he concludes it. <laughs> Nigga, you played the commercial? Hey, get easy as money. This ad might be the best part of the whole fucking video. <laughs> this nigga don't believe this shit. He laughing. See, you break your character, man. The truth always come out. You so damn fake. You know, you so damn fake, man. But I know that secretly, you fuck with me secretly. But still, though, at the same time, like openly, I don't fuck with you, though, man. Because I don't like all this racial pandering shit, man. Dropping them bombs wow. like he says something. What a letdown. Y'all actually got me excited for some underwhelming shit. Like, but I, damn, I'm, I'm disappointed. Like, I'm literally disappointed, but I'm kind of waiting for the joke or the punchline. Like, I don't know if I'm mad or, like, just, like... You're mad. You're a big bad. Did I get trolled? Where's the joke? I'm confused. I'm going to just move on to the next reaction. I, I'm not doing no more easy meal. You got one. Okay. All right. And that's it. I can at least um, respect that. I'm out. All right. Thank God. Thank God. I was done with that shit. It's just, bro, there's a lot about that. That man's a goofy. I ain't gonna lie. He called himself a hater. And it's like, I don't know where I'm from, who, the, the way I, who I am as a man. Where are you from? Man, shut your ass up. Nobody give a fuck where you from. You from your mama basement, my nigga. I don't think enough, you should ever be a hater. And the fact you said you was a hater, that's like damn near saying. I yeah, I said it, but you sitting here hating on me the whole time, but you trying to hide behind something. Like, okay, you only hate when you being a hero and when you in the right. That's what you're trying to say. So you saying you only hate on haters. You the anti-hater, huh? All right, come on, man. Make this make sense. I'm built like that. I'm a pussy. Like, why would you be that? I'm not saying you got to be out here being a crash test dummy, but why would you knowingly do that? It's, it's, he's a goofy. Nigga, nigga, you knowingly got a black hefty trash bag on your fucking window. Am I missing something? Hey, Michelle, he just, he not valid. And we, and people didn't respect this. Let me check what the views say. Let me check what the dislike to like ratio is on this video. Cause I, easy, oh, 294 to three. You seen that before you even started the video that you watched already, I can tell. 27,000. Now I understand that because one of the, my, my, my highest streaming songs on YouTube was a song about a, a artist. Give pain to others, might be. Comment. Why people keep saying I'm deleting comments, y'all dumb or what? YouTube automatically box comments with certain language. I'm not sensitive like y'all trash fans. Easy Mill sucks, by the way. So, okay, he trying to be like the bad guy in WWE. And like, if that's that's what you want to do, bro, with your life, you could just be the biggest hater of all time. That's fine. I, and I will be that. And you part of it, nigga. You part of my trophy case, nigga. You should be thanking me. You should be thanking me, but I know you're watching this and your heart beating fast. You know what I'm saying? Or guess what? You might take this as another opportunity to try to reach back out to me like you did before, but you was being kind of friendly. Man, you want to come up on my man YouTube live? You wasn't coming with this negativity. Nigga, you was a goofy. Your name is Michelle. You ain't no step. You wasn't coming like that. You know? It's kind of some friendly shit like you're trying to set them up on, on some old sneaky shit. Like a little pussy. You know? Like a little pussy ass nigga in the basement. You know, the half classroom, half basement. One of those. That's how you came at me. Now, I could go into your raps, but this video is getting long enough. So that's a story for another day. You know? Another day.